Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's video in my series on garden sprays, we're going to talk about aspirin spray. What does it do? We're going to do a recipe for the aspirin spray itself that we spray on the leaves and for soil drinks. They're very similar. So in short, aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid, when sprayed or drenched into the root system of a tomato plant, mimics a hormone that the plant uses to signify or to signal that it's being attacked by a fungus like a leaf spot. We're going to spray it or drench it with aspirin and make the plants think they're under attack. Under attack, they beef up their defenses and they better ward off any kind of future problems coming. So usually the SAR response, just like when we get sick, we get sick first and then our immune response kicks in. We're kicking in the, the immune response essentially of the tomato plant before problems come and they're going to be stronger for it. This is important because you can cut down on the use of uh, chemical sprays. If they are organic or if they're chemical sprays made by people, you can just spray less. And that's really important. You don't necessarily want anything coating your plants if you don't need to. It doesn't matter if it's organic or if it's human made chemical based. So all you need for this really is a one gallon sprayer and 325 milligram aspirins that aren't coated. You want them to dissolve easily. If you have a coating on it, it can mess up your sprayer. So you just want them to be um, just aspirin, no coating on there whatsoever. The coating is kind of like a plastic that will block the uh, sprayer pores of your sprayer. So if you're going to make a spray, it's just one 325 milligram tablet in a gallon of water. Of course, that's not a gallon of water. These should dissolve pretty quickly. I like to dissolve them in the house in a cup or something because it's easier just to kind of swirl, around, swirl it around, make sure it's dissolved before you add it into your sprayer. So that's for the spray. That's for a leaf spray. If we're going to do a soil drench, you can put in two 325 milligram tablets of the aspirin and then we're going to just water in the base of the plant. You can't really overdose your plants um, with aspirin. So that's just something to keep in mind. And remember that this only works for tomato plants. It'd be great if it worked for every plant, but only for tomato plants. And again, look up the research. If you look up SAR response for tomatoes, you'll see all kinds of scientific response that supports this. But let me go over some of the basics here. So you have your aspirin or your acetyl salicylic acid. It tricks the tomato plant into setting off the SAR response, which is the systemic acquired resistance. You're basically, again, fooling the plant into thinking it's being attacked. So the aspirin mimics a hormone in the plant. How often do you do the spray? Really, probably about every, every two weeks. You know, I'm not convinced that um, you need to do it sooner than that. It's not going to hurt if you want to do it once a week, but every two weeks is fine, and that will keep this response going. And in fact, when you do it, um, these plants, of course, haven't been sprayed. They're not outdoors yet. If you want to subscribe to my channel, it's the end of February. I'm going to be putting these tomato plants out really early in March. I'll show you how to do that. But once you spray the plant, your leaves kind of get a little more uh, tough, leathery. Um, they thicken up a little bit, sometimes even a darker green. But you can see the response happening, and it does not hurt your plant. And again, what you're doing is you're inducing or you're causing the activation of the to tomato plant's uh, natural defense mechanism. So you're not putting any kind of chemicals on your plant, good or bad chemicals, it doesn't matter. You're just activating a natural defense uh, mechanism. Now, if you are allergic to aspirin, well then don't use it. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you if it's safe for you or not, but if you know you're allergic to aspirin, don't spray your plants with it. So it's just 325 milligrams, uh, a 325 milligram tablet to one gallon to make the spray and a 650, or actually two 325 milligram tablets, or 650 milligrams to make the one gallon drench. And when you go out into the garden when you're spraying, it's just a quick spray, top, undersides, walk away. If you're gonna do the drench, you're gonna mix this into a gallon, you're gonna pour the whole gallon around the base of the plants, um, and you could use one gallon across, let's say, one, two, three plants that are kind of spread out over a six foot space. So that'd be one plant every two feet. And just kind of, you know, put some at the root, right at the stem at the roots, and then just spread the other stuff around. It's perfectly fine. The root systems are going to find it. You could do both. I only do the leaf spray. 
Some people say the drench, the root drench is more effective. So that's really up to you. But this, and you can see that the aspirin has dissolved. And you just swirl it up and you could use this for your drench, one tablet for your spray. This works. I use this regularly every year. I'm going to do a combination of both this year and really see how long I can keep these tomatoes going until the natural frost and freeze of November comes and takes them. I really recommend using the aspirin spray with your tomato plants. And look up the research. This way you don't have to really just kind of go with what I'm saying. Um, you'll see all the supported research. And it's really, really interesting, actually. I like reading about it. I will link a... Uh, post or I, I put a link into a post that I did on SAR so that you can see the recipes and read a little more about it. Thanks so much for watch, watching. This is a great way to really beef up the defenses of your tomato plants. Thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.